got in this uh, Bamboo Labs fume extractor or smoke purifier, I think is what they call it on their site. I'm going to do a small unboxing video and a little bit of testing with a laser. Uh, it won't be the H2D printer laser. Uh, I have a standalone uh, fiber MOPA laser, 60 watt. And my current solution is not quite good enough, so this should be a lot better, and um, I guess we'll we'll find out. Have not seen any videos really of this uh, being reviewed, so why not do one? <clears throat> Pretty heavy unit. Get this stuff from the box. And it looks like that's it. Move this camera down a hair. All right. actually made out of uh, steel. It's nice. Let's see if any of these uh, filters need to be unwrapped or if it's ready to go. Well, looks like it might just be ready to go. pre-filter there's actually a uh, like a net material on the back for I'm guessing finer particulate it's kind of nice get the camera off the stand and I'll show you inside of it so there's your exhaust fan that pulls everything through the filters standard power plug So this is all one thick filter. I can't remember which filter these are all called, but it's like a three-stage unit. So then we have this guy. two hands <laughs> and then lastly the cotton pre-filter which they actually looks like there's two of them in here two spares or is that just one let's see that might be one yeah I don't know not sure if they're compressed in here Put this back up here and we'll take a quick look. Not oh, as two of them. All right. So those ones are obviously going to get the most wear. That's your first line of defense. So that's going to get any uh, chunks from the uh, the lasering like um, if you're doing say slate or a coin or anodized uh, aluminum that's going to take all the the uh, thicker smoke and collect it so that's nice that they have three of those See what's in this other box. I'm assuming power cord and maybe uh, so all of the hoses there. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so one hose, two clamps. And I believe this is one of those uh, like snap type hoses where it'll hold its shape. I 
Oh, maybe not. All right. Eh, that's fine. That'll still work. I thought it was going to be one of the more rigid ones where it, like, snaps and holds position, but it's fine. It's going to be right next to the laser anyway, so... very thick gasket around the lid right there to seal it up so yeah handles are metal lids metal the whole body's metal all right I'm gonna get this set up in place of the other one and uh, we'll give it a little test one thing I noticed on this tube is it's got a, uh, a lot of extra skin I guess you would say right here um, I did unravel that because when it's inside of the tube it seems like that would cause a pretty big restriction and then I put the hose clamp around it right there so I uh, just pulled it over the flange tighten that up and I'm probably gonna do the same on this side I don't have an adapter yet I'll probably 3d print one and that's about it for right now I'm gonna throw this on the bench and I'll get going again. Just realized I forgot to show the front of it. That's your minimum to maximum knob uh, for how much suction. I'm sure it gets quite a bit louder when it's on max. I'll get that in a video. This is my old one, just a homemade one. There's just a stack of filters about right here. Uh, 3D printed flange and some flex hose and I just had this sitting up on some one, two, three blocks. It did work all right. Um, the filters aren't very big and the fan's not that powerful. Uh, so it got clogged up relatively fast and how I built it, you have to undo these four bolts right here and then blow out the filter, replace it. So I'm sure this uh, bamboo one will be a lot better. All right, so yeah, one of the um, stiffer hoses would definitely be better. I know this is meant for the, the Bamboo Lab H2D, so that's why it has this flexible hose. Um, I might pick up a rigid hose or I'm definitely going to 3D print an adapter. I had to actually put the hose clamp in here and expand it a little bit uh, because when I turned it up all the way it actually sucked in and kind of yeah it wasn't good. So this is on the lowest right now. I'm not sure how well the, uh, the audio will pick it up but this is about halfway. And that's cranked up all the way. Um, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. It's a little loud. Not bad though. And I'm gonna, this material is a uh, dual color ABS. This is actually why I got this was uh, for ABS. I have a respirator as well, but uh, just to be a little bit safer since that produces some pretty bad gases and whatnot. So I'll start it right now and we'll see how much the uh, smoke it picks up once it uh, starts doing the cutting passes where it'll probably uh, show the smoke a little better which will be here in a second once it gets down to the uh, the black ABS that's actually it's sucking it in let me uh, take the camera off and I'll try to get a better angle of that. See, turn it down. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it right there. And that's probably turned up about three quarters of the way. If I turn this down, we might get a little better view of it. It's a little tough to see, but it's here we go. That's probably about halfway right there, and it's sucking it up pretty pretty well. A lot better than my other one, so. I'll do a piece of slate after this. This does, I believe, uh, 10 or 12 passes, so instead of boring you with that, I'll, I'll cut the video and come back with a piece of slate. Alright, this is with a piece of slate. Usually this puts off a fair amount of dust, so... That's 
so bright it's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, I'll run it once more just to try it. You can see it right there with the, the lights really throwing it off, but it's, uh, it's sucking it in. that's it gonna end the video it uh so far it works good only two little tests but uh, that was also with it about halfway maybe a little less so yeah works good a lot better than my my other one if you have any questions or want a certain material cut with it uh, let me know yeah one more just for the hell of it <laughs>